That's great. Number nine, time to release your inner Y2K girl because claw clips are everywhere. Oh, are they? Okay, I don't have to tell you that, Paul, but yeah. maybe everyone else wants to hear. It doesn't require much effort to pull your hair back in one of these clips. You try to half up, half down. Mm. You do the little bun in the back. Anyway, just remember the three S's of the claw clip. Sweep your hair back. Style your hair the way you want it to look. Secure your hair in yeah. place. Mm -hmm. The three S's. So three simple. Three S's. Yes, yeah. yeah, so simple and so really just a really lovely look. Yeah, provides yeah. so many opportunities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number eight, the world's largest cruise ship will never take its maiden voyage. Instead, what? it's headed to the scrapyard. The Global Dream Tru uh, 2 was built to carry 9,000 passengers. It has an yes. outdoor water park. A movie theater. It cost 1.4 billion to what? build. Was nearly complete when the company MV Werfton went under. Oh. The ship still needs about 230 million dollars to complete the interior and uh, passenger facilities. There was a chance another company would take it over, but that didn't happen. And uh, interestingly enough, there's a twin global dream ship that project has not been given the axe yet. 9,000 passengers. Could you imagine the ocean? going no. on them? It's like, just give me yeah. Legionnaire's disease now. Because <laughs> you know, it's going to be a breakout of something. Yeah. Uh, or something else. Yeah. Uh, so, it's a lot. 9,000 miles yeah. down. Uh, number seven, it's one thing to take a pen or some stationery, even a soap or two. Yeah. But don't steal towels from your hotel room. Yeah. All right, same goes for pillows or sheets. And some hotel chains are really cracking down on thieves. They're fitting linens and towels with special tracking technology. Oh. So when a towel or sheet leaves the building, they'll be alerted to it. Yeah. Wow. They can actually prosecute you if they want to. But at the very least, they may charge you for the item oh. or items you huh. take. And you think that's true, and you think they're just saying it, getting uh. into your head. Mm -hmm. So now you start thinking twice about it. Either way, I don't want to risk the embarrassment of getting yeah. busted yeah. for stealing a washcloth. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that has been yeah. used by hundreds oh, of other people. I know. Yeah. I'm going to take this one with me because it's special. Yeah. That was special to you and 90 other people oh. wiping their butts with it. All right, number six. Uh, we sometimes show you very high and treacherous looking bridges, sometimes in remote places in Asia. Well, someone has to build those bridges, and sometimes those guys need to take a nap. Uh, take a look. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, sleep's important. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, geez, look at this. Oh, my. Oh, man. Oh, if you're strapped in. Yeah. Uh, strapped in. I got to tell you, I'm pretty certain some of our editors could fall asleep in those yeah. positions. It's funny that wow. thinks I could fall asleep. You I know? feel like I could fall asleep anywhere. That might push it a little. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Look at that, it's nap time. Weesh. All right, number five. A woman was arrested at the Las Vegas airport last week. She didn't fight it. She had a pretty good idea why they were taking her into custody. She told the officers she was under arrest for being too good looking. That's a nickel. Well, no, she was not being arrested for that. She was accused of skipping out on her bill at the airport Chili's restaurant. Ah. <laughs> Police found her sleeping next to a security checkpoint and she was not too happy when they woke her up. She claimed the officers had never seen anyone as pretty as she was right. and she accused them of harassing her. She's being held on $1,000 wow. bail. Here's the thing, if you're going to skip out on a restaurant, go to like a really expensive, <laughs> yeah, not yeah. the Chili's airport. By the time you pay your legal fees and all yeah. that, like you skipped out on a $12 meal there. Yeah, yeah. probably yeah. she was sitting on a pillow she stole from the hotel, so yeah. Yeah. She made it even worse. So, mm -hmm. you gotta yeah. take her in. But don't sleep on a Chili's, you get a good burger or a nacho yeah, you can, there, yeah, and you yeah. can't yeah. help it. That's oh, what you're yeah. in the mood for. And you she know? was beautiful also, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Right. going for her. Number four, Roland Mesnier died recently at the age of 78. He served five presidents as pastry chef, huh. wow. whipping up desserts in gingerbread houses for 25 years at the White House. Oh, good for him. He was a noted perfectionist, and before he passed, he remembered uh, one occasion when he thought he was going to get fired. This was back in 1991. George H.W. Bush was in office, and Mesnier was making a raspberry souffle for the Queen and Prince of Denmark. Souffles are very difficult to make, and he had to make 22 large servings. Oh, that requires wow. about 100 eggs. 
Uh, he and his staff couldn't get the egg whites to stiffen up as they're supposed to be. Bush and the royalty waiting patiently, and as oh, a last boy. resort, he added a bunch of raw sugar, decided to turn over, uh, turn the oven up really high, and I guess it worked. Dessert came out just before the guests were about to get restless. He says cooking instincts are what saved him. He had to improvise at the last yeah. second. Yeah. He got oh. the uh, royalty waiting, and George and he H. just w. died? Well, Is that what? Yeah, all right. That was the, yeah, that was the story. Oh, pressure. Got, a lot of died pressure. last yeah, week. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, oh. God yeah. bless. All right, number three, uh, what's the deal with these ads? Have you seen this? Some people were yeah. wondering, is Jerry Seinfeld really modeling for the streetwear meets luxury brand called Kith? The answer is unfortunately yes. <laughs> uh, you know, it might make sense. Jerry has always liked the uh, dad look of jeans and sneakers. That look is now cool. Also, Seth Rogen and Steve Buscemi have also modeled. Uh, yeah. for he looks uncomfortable in that. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, or maybe it's just me projecting. It just it's. But I read that the founder of that company went to Queens College, so maybe they're friends. Yeah. So maybe that's so why. But he's rethinking that favor. But this is like falls in that sheet. puffy shirt thing, you know? <laughs> right. It's like yeah. you yeah. can do a favor for a friend. Yes. You want me to wear a flower jacket? I don't want to wear a be a pirate. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you. Uh, all right, number two. Uh, these days, former major leaguer Rod Allen is an announcer for the Florida Marlins down in Miami. Back around 1990, he was finishing his baseball career by playing in Japan. Baseball is a little bit different there. Check this out. Oh. What? Oh, he's mad at somebody. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Wow, I've never seen anything like it's this. Nice. A full foot race. A foot race. Get everyone going. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh. Ouch. Oh, man. Yeah. I guess in Japan, it's a more gentlemanly game. Yeah, they, they don't, don't really fight. fight. They yeah, they like, I'm, not, I'm not fighting you. I'm going to run. Oh, guess what? I'm fast. Deuce. Wow. Yeah. And eventually, if you keep running long enough, the other guy's going to be tired. He's yeah. going to settle down, lose all his frustration. He'll be like, ah, oh, forget it. I'll just go back to first oh, You get to see how it ended. Would be a it's fun it. way, though, to break up a baseball game. Everybody gets out there and has a foot race. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> should line up everybody from both teams. Yeah. On settle one it that way. Right. Yeah. Both end coaches the going. Next. Yeah, I like that idea. All right, number one, this might be the strange, one of the strangest telethons ever. This comes from the great Twitter account, Vintage Los Angeles. It's a clip from the Easter Seals telecast broadcast on our sister station, KTLA, in 1975. It features Adrian Barbeau, the actress, Marty Allen, Charo, Ben Gazzara, and Peter Falk, all old actors. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Marty L is an old time comedian. Oh, okay. Way, huh. way back. Yeah. I thought it was He's got some French. moves. Definitely. Yeah, he does. Or did. He thought it was Julia Child. Julia Child. Isn't that Julia Child? Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. There's Easter, Easter Seals Telethon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rabbit joins in. Boy, this is when 
Celebrities just get pure huh? joy in their hearts. Yeah, yeah, I think you're wrong, like Jimmy. That is, I'll put money that's Julia Child. <laughs> yeah. That whole thing was like an acid trip. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to think something that was, was inspiring there. Never wow. ran out of gas either. No, it kept, it kept going. going. Well, that's a nine at nine. Nine at nine is a whole lot of fun.